Hi everybody, I'm G. Iron, and this is my series on the most asked questions I get whenever I'm tutoring somebody in a science or math course. So today we're just going to be talking about the difference between mitosis and meiosis or meiosis. If you don't know what either of them are yet, I would suggest you look at a different tutorial or review before watching this video. So very simply put, the difference is what we get at the end of the day. So at the end of the day with mitosis, we get two exact copies of cells. With meiosis, we get four daughter cells that have half the DNA as the original cell. Okay. Mitosis happens in every single cell except for sex cells. So except for eggs and sperm. Nope. Eggs and sperm are reserved completely for meiosis. And so right now we're just talking about, we're going to talk about humans because to be quite honest, that's what we care about. That's what you care about. That's the whole reason why we care. So within a human, my skin cells, for example, go through mitosis quite often because I'm usually shedding all these skin cells and that's what dust is made out of and all kinds of gross stuff. So you have like skin everywhere, FYI. Uh, within meiosis, however, a male is constantly going through meiosis, constantly creating more sperm, while a female, on the other hand, already has all the eggs that she will ever have when she's born. So meiosis has occurred in her lifetime previous to actual birth. Okay, so now the genetic differences between those two are that within mitosis, you replicate the DNA in, for example, a skin cell once. So now inside of a cell, you will theoretically have 96, or excuse me, um, 92 chromosomes inside of a cell. And then that through IPMAT, I pierced my art teacher, or interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and then cytokinesis. You cleave off 46 chromosomes, 46 chromosomes. My skin cell is exactly like the original. Exactly like it. Same amount of DNA, everything. Now within meiosis, however, I don't create the exact same genetic material, the exact same genetic material in each and every single one of those cells. Within those cells, I have a, a half of that. So it is a haploid. I have one N in comparison to the two N diploid of that first cell. So I end up with four haploid cells, half of the DNA in each one. Within a male, that is four different sperm. Within a female, that's one egg and then three three excess bodies. So you can just think of it that way. So those go away. And so then you only have one egg, half that DNA. Now, why is that even important within meiosis? The reason why is because a sperm, half the genetic material, and then an egg, half the genetic material, combine during conception to create a baby. And a baby obviously must have the correct amount of chromosomes, 46. So 23 chromosomes, 23 chromosomes form to create a life that has 46 chromosomes. So 23, 23, 46. Make sense? Correct. So that's the point. The reason, the whole difference is, even though the steps are extremely similar, and even in my song I say meiosis is like mitosis done twice, is just because those steps of, uh, up to the cleavage are very, very similar, at least in terms of the cellular membrane and the formation and order of the DNA. But other than that, the goals are extremely different. The goal of mitosis is let's create more skin so that way I don't start bleeding everywhere versus I'm going to create eggs so I can one day have a child. Very different. You don't want haploid cells here. You don't want diploid cells here either, believe me, all right? Sound good? All right, thank you. Please visit my website, g-ironscience.com. There are more tutorials on there, a lot of great information, all free, good for teachers, homeschools, everybody. And uh, look up my other videos on YouTube, friend us on Facebook or follow us on Facebook, whatever that whole deal is, and all that good stuff. All right, thank you, and have a great day. God bless all of you.